You're doing better than you think. Yeah, you heard me right. I know what's going through your mind. You're sitting there doubting yourself, wondering if you're on the right track. But let me tell you something. You're already winning, and you don't even know it. Now, I'm going to break it down for you. Seven signs that prove you're crushing it, even when you can't see it yourself. So buckle up, because this might just change the way you look at your life. You're still standing. Life's thrown punches at you, hasn't it? Knocked you down a few times. But guess what? You're still here. You got back up. That's not just survival. That's strengths. Every single day you wake up and face the world, you're winning. Don't ever forget that. You've got people who care about you. I'm not talking about thousands of followers or a massive friend list. I'm talking about those few people who drop everything to help you out. The ones who stick around when things get tough. If you've got even one person like that in your life, you're rich. Richer than you know. You're learning from your mistakes. Now, I know you've messed up. We all have. But here's the kicker. You're not making the same mistakes over and over. You're growing, changing, becoming better. That's not failure. That's progress. And progress, my friend, is success in motion. Fourth sign. You've got goals. Big ones, small ones, doesn't matter. The fact that you're aiming for something means you've got hope. You're not just drifting through life. You're moving forward with purpose. That's huge. Don't underestimate the power of having direction. You're not where you used to be. Take a moment. Think back to where you were a year ago, five years ago. Different, right? You've changed, grown, learned new things. Maybe you've got a new job, a new skill, or just a, a new outlook on life. That's not standing still. That's moving forward. You're helping others. Maybe you don't even realize it, but I bet you're making a difference in someone's life. Could be as simple as a kind word, a helping hand, or just being there to listen. That impact you're having, it's real, and it matters. And the seventh sign, you're reading this right now, you're seeking growth, looking for motivation, trying to better yourself. That right there, that's the mindset of a winner. Now let's dig deeper into each of these signs. I want you to really get this to feel it in your bones. Let's start with that first sign again. You're still standing. Life's not easy, is it? It's a roller coaster full of ups and downs. Some days it feels like the whole world's against you, but you're here. You're breathing, you're fighting. That's not just survival, that's triumph. Think about all the challenges you faced, the setbacks, the disappointments, the times when you wanted to give up, but you didn't. You pushed through. You found a way. That resilience, it's a superpower. It's what separates the winners from the quitters. And here's the thing. Every single time you overcome an obstacle, you get stronger. It's like working out. Each rep builds muscle. Each challenge you face and overcome builds your mental and emotional strength. So those tough times, they're not just tests, they're opportunities to grow. Now let's talk about that second sign, the people who care about you. In this world of social media and superficial connections, having real, genuine relationships is gold. It's not about the quantity of your connections, it's about the quality. Those people who stick by you, who support you, who believe in you even when you don't believe in yourself, they're your real wealth. They're your safety net, your cheerleaders, your reality check when you need it. If you've got people like that in your life, you're already successful. And here's something to think about. Those people wouldn't stick around if you weren't worth it. They see something in you, something valuable, something special. Maybe it's time you started seeing it too. Moving on to the third sign, learning from your mistakes. Now, I know making mistakes doesn't feel good. It's uncomfortable, sometimes even painful. But here's the secret successful people know. Mistakes are just lessons in disguise. Every time you mess up and learn from it, you're growing. You're becoming smarter, wiser, more experienced. You're not just avoiding the same pitfalls. You're learning how to navigate life better. That's not failure. That's evolution. And let me tell you something. The people who never make mistakes, they're not the ones who are succeeding. They're the ones who are playing it safe, staying in their comfort zone. Real growth, real success comes from pushing your boundaries, trying new things, and yes, sometimes messing up. So next time you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up. Instead, ask yourself, what can I learn from this?
turn that set back into a setup for your car. Now let's dive into that fourth sign, having goals. Goals are like a compass. They give you direction, purpose, something to strive for. Without goals, you're just drifting, letting life happen to you instead of making life happen. But here's the thing about goals. They don't have to be huge world-changing objectives. They can be small personal aims. Maybe you want to read more books or learn a new skill or improve a relationship. Whatever it is, having that target gives your life focus and meaning. And here's a secret about goals. The real power isn't in achieving them. It's in pursuing them. It's in the person you become as you work towards your aims. You develop discipline, perseverance, creativity. You learn to overcome obstacles to push through difficulties. That journey. That's where the real growth happens. So if you've got goals, big or small, you're already on the right track. You're not just existing. You're living with purpose. And that, my friend, is a, a clear sign you're doing better than you think. Let's move on to the fifth sign. You're not where you used to be. This is a big one because sometimes we're so focused on where we want to go that we forget to look back and see how far we've come. Take a moment right now. Think about where you were a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, different, right? Maybe you've got a new job, learn new skills, develop new relationships. Maybe you've overcome fears, kicked bad habits, or just grown as a person. That change, that growth, that's success. It might not feel like a day to day, but when you step back and look at the bigger picture, you can see the progress you've made. And that progress is proof that you're moving in the right direction. Here's something to remember. Growth isn't always linear. Sometimes it's two steps forward, one step back. Sometimes it feels like you're standing still. But as long as you're not the same person you were yesterday, you're growing. And growth is the essence of success. Now let's talk about that sixth sign. You're helping others. This one's powerful because it shifts your focus from yourself to the impact you're having on the world around you. You might not think you're doing much, but I bet you're making a difference in someone's life. Maybe you've given advice to a friend or helped a coworker with a project. Maybe you volunteered your time or just been there to listen when someone needed to talk. These acts might seem small to you, but they can mean the world to someone else. And here's the beautiful thing. When you help others, you're not just changing their lives, you're changing your own. You're building connections, developing empathy, creating positive change in the world. That ability to make a difference, that's not just success, that's significance. And if you're having a positive impact on even one person's life, you're doing better than you think. And finally, let's circle back to that seven sign. You're seeking growth. The fact that you're here, reading this, looking for ways to improve yourself, that's huge. That's the mindset of a winner. See, the most successful people in the world never stop learning, never stop growing. They're always looking for ways to get better, to push themselves, to expand their knowledge and skills. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're not settling for where you are. You're not content with the status quo. You're actively seeking out information, motivation, inspiration to help you become the best version of yourself. That hunger for growth, that's a clear sign. You're on the right path. Now, I want to dig even deeper into these signs because I really want you to get this. I want you to feel it in your gut, to know it in your bones. You're doing better than you think, and here's why. Let's go back to that first sign. You're still standing. I want you to really think about this. Think about all the challenges you've faced in your life, the setbacks, the disappointments, the times when it felt like everything was falling apart. Maybe you've lost a job or a relationship ended. Maybe you faced health issues or financial struggles. Maybe you've dealt with loss or failure or just days when getting out of bed felt like climbing a mountain. But you're here, you're still fighting. You're still moving forward. That's not just survival, that's strength. That's resilience, that's the kind of toughness that winners are made of. And here's the thing, every single one of those challenges has made you stronger. It's like tempering steel. The heat, the pressure, they don't weaken the metal. They make it tougher, more resilient. That's what's happening to you with every challenge you face. You're not just enduring. 
you're evolving, you're becoming stronger, more resilient, more capable of handling whatever life throws at you. That's not just surviving, that's thriving. Now let's dive deeper into that second sign. You've got people who care about you. In this world of social media and superficial connections, having real, genuine relationships is more valuable than ever. Think about the people in your life who really matter. The ones who stand by you when things get tough. The ones who celebrate your victories no matter how small. The ones who tell you the truth even when it's not what you want to hear. These relationships, they're not just nice to have. They're essential. They're a support system, your reality check, your safe haven in a chaotic world. And here's the thing. You've earned these relationships. These people stick around because they see value in you. Because you bring something positive to their life. That ability to form and maintain meaningful relationships, it's a skill. It requires empathy, trustworthiness, the ability to give and receive support. If you've got people in your life who truly care about you, it's because you've cultivated these qualities. That's not just social success. That's emotional intelligence. And emotional intelligence. It's one of the biggest predictors of success in life. It affects everything from your career to your personal relationships, to your overall happiness. So if you've got people who care about you, you're not just loved. You're equipped with one of the most powerful tools for success. Let's move on to that third sign. You're learning from your mistakes. Now I know making mistakes doesn't feel good. It's uncomfortable, sometimes even painful, but here's the secret successful people know. Mistakes are just lessons in discovery. Think about a mistake you've made recently. Maybe you said the wrong thing in a conversation or made a poor decision at work. It didn't feel good, did it? But uh, here's the question. Um, what did you learn from it? Maybe you learned to think before you speak or to consider all options before making a decision. Maybe you learned something about yourself, about your triggers or your blind spots, whatever it was, that lesson is valuable. It's making you smarter, wiser more prepared for the future. And here's the real kicker. The people who never make mistakes, they're not the ones who are succeeding. They're the ones who are playing it safe, staying in their comfort zone. Real growth, real success comes from pushing your boundaries, trying new things, and yes, sometimes messing up. Every mistake you make and learn from is like leveling up in the game of life. You're gaining experience points, unlocking new skills, becoming better equipped to handle whatever challenges come your way. That's not failure. That's progress. Now let's dig deeper into that fourth sign. You've got goals. Goals are like a compass. They give you direction, purpose, something to strive for. Without goals, you're just drifting, letting life happen to you instead of making But here's the thing about goals. They don't have to be huge, world-changing objectives. They can be small, personal aims, Maybe you want to read more books or learn a new skill or improve a relationship. Whatever it is, having that target gives your life focus and meaning. And here's the secret about goals. The real power isn't in achieving them. It's in pursuing them. It's in the person you become as you work towards your aims. You develop discipline, perseverance, creativity. You learn to overcome obstacles to push through difficulties that journey. That's where the real growth happens. Think about a goal you're working towards right now. Maybe it's a career goal or a personal development goal or a fitness goal. Now think about who you need to become to achieve that goal. What habits do you need to develop? What skills do you need to learn? What mindset do you need to cultivate? As you work towards your goal, you're not just moving towards a target. It, you're evolving. You're becoming a stronger, more capable, more disciplined version of yourself. That growth, that evolution, that's success right there. So if you've got goals, big or small, you're already on the right track. You're not just existing, you're living with purpose, you're actively shaping your life, your future. And that, my friend, is a clear sign you're doing better than you think. Let's move on to the fifth sign. You're not where you used to be. This is a big one because sometimes we're so focused on where we want to go that we forget to look back and see how far we've come. I want you to do something right now. Close your eyes for a moment and think back to where you were five years ago. Really visualize it. Where were you living? What was your job? What were your relationships like? What did you know? What could you do? 
Now open your eyes and look at where you are now. Different, right? Maybe you've moved to a new place or started a new career. Maybe you've ended some relationships and started new ones. Maybe you've learned new skills, gained new knowledge, developed new habits. That change, that growth, that's success. It might not feel like it day to day, but when you step back and look at the bigger picture, you can see the progress you've made. And that progress is proof that you're moving in the right direction. Here's something to remember. Our growth isn't always linear. Sometimes it's two steps forward, one step back. Sometimes it feels like you're standing still. But as long as you're not the same person you were yesterday, you're growing. And growth is the essence of success. Think about all the experiences you've had over the past few years. The good ones, the bad ones, the ones that seemed insignificant at the time. Each of these experiences has shaped you, taught you something, made you who you are today. You've overcome challenges you didn't think you could handle. You've achieved things you once thought were impossible. You survived days that felt like they would break you. And through it all, you've grown, you've evolved. You've become stronger, wiser, more resilient. That journey, that evolution, that's success. It might not look like what you imagined success would look like, but it's real. It's tangible. It's proof that you're doing better than you think. Now let's talk about that sixth sign. You're helping others. This one's powerful because it shifts your focus from yourself to the impact you're having on the world around you. You might not think you're doing much, but I bet you're making a difference in someone's life. Maybe you've given advice to a friend or helped a coworker with a project. Maybe you volunteered your time or just been there to listen when someone needed to talk. These acts might seem small to you, but they can mean the world to someone else. And here's the beautiful thing, when you help others, you're not just changing their lives, you're changing your own. You're building connections, developing empathy, creating positive change in the world. Think about a time recently when you helped someone. Maybe you gave someone directions or held the door open for a stranger or sent a, a supportive message to a friend. How did it make you feel? I bet it felt good, right? That feeling, that's not just happiness, that's fulfillment, that's purpose. And here's the thing, the ability to help others to make a positive impact on the world around you, that's a sign of abundance. It means you have something to give, whether it's time, energy, knowledge, or resources. That's not just success, that's significance. So if you're having a positive impact on even one person's life, you're doing better than you think. You're not just succeeding, you're making the world a better place. And that's something to be proud of. And finally, let's circle back to that seven sign. You're seeking growth. The fact that you're here, taking in this information, looking for ways to improve yourself, that's huge. That's the mindset of a winner. See, the most successful people in the world never stop learning, never stop growing. They're always looking for ways to get better, to push themselves, to expand their knowledge and skills. And that's exactly what you're doing right now. You're not settling for where you are. You're not content with the status quo. You're actively seeking out information, motivation, inspiration to help you become the best version of yourself, that hunger for growth. That's a clear sign. You're on the right path. Think about it. Why are you here taking in this information? It's because you want to improve, right? You want to grow to become better, to reach your full potential, that desire that drive, it's the fuel that powers success. And here's the thing, just by seeking growth, you're already growing. You're expanding your mind, challenging your assumptions, opening yourself up to new ideas and perspectives. That's not just learning, that's evolving. Now I wanna tie all these signs together because they're all connected. They're all part of the bigger picture of your success. You're still standing because you've learned from your mistakes. You've got people who care about you because you're helping others. You've got goals because you're seeking growth. You're not where you used to be because you're constantly pushing forward. Const All of these signs point to one undeniable truth. You're doing better than you think. You're not just surviving, you're thriving. You're not just existing, you're living with purpose. You're not just going through the motions, you're making a difference. But here's the thing, success isn't a destination. It's not a finish line you cross once and you're done. 
It's a journey. It's a process of constant growth, constant improvement, constant evolution. And that journey is not always easy. There will be ups and downs. There will be victories and setbacks. There will be days when you feel on top of the world and days when you feel like you're back at square one. But that's okay. That's normal. That's part of the process. The key is to keep moving forward, to keep growing, to keep pushing yourself to be better today than you were yesterday. And you're already doing that. You're already on that journey. These seven signs prove it. You're resilient. You're connected. You're learning. You're goal-oriented. You're evolving. You're evolving. You're impactful. You're growth-minded. These aren't just nice qualities to have. They're the building blocks of success. They're the traits that set winners apart from the rest. And you've got them. You're displaying them every single day, even if you don't realize it. So the next time you start doubting yourself, the next time you feel like you're not doing enough or not getting anywhere, remember these signs. Remember that you're stronger than you think, more successful than you realize, and more capable than you know. You're not just surviving. You're thriving. You're not just existing. You're excelling. You're not just getting by. You're getting ahead. And here's the best part. This is just the beginning. If you're doing this well now, imagine what you can achieve if you keep pushing, keep growing, keep believing in yourself. The potential within you is limitless. The possibilities ahead of you are endless. You've already proven that you have what it takes to succeed. Now it's time to take it to the next level. So what's next? Where do you go from here? That's up to you. Maybe it's time to set some bigger goals. Maybe it's time to take on a new challenge. Maybe it's time to help more people to make an even bigger impact on the world around you. Whatever it is, know this. You're ready for it. You're prepared. You're equipped. You've got the resilience, the support, the wisdom, the drive, the growth, the impact, and the mindset to tackle whatever comes your way. You're doing better than you think. And the best is yet to come. So keep pushing. Keep growing. Keep believing in yourself because you've got what it takes to achieve greatness. Remember, success isn't about being perfect. It's not about never making mistakes or never facing setbacks. It's about how you respond to those challenges. It's about getting back up when you fall down. It's about learning, growing, and becoming better with each passing day. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're not letting your mistakes define you. You're learning from them. You're not letting your setbacks stop you you're using them as fuel to push forward. You're not letting your doubts hold you back. You're using them as motivation to prove yourself wrong. That's what winners do. That's what successful people do. And that's what you're doing right now. So I want you to do something for me. I want you to take a moment right now to acknowledge how far you've come, to recognize the progress you've made, to appreciate the strength you've shown. You've overcome challenges that would have broken many others. You've pushed through difficulties that seemed insurmountable. You've grown in ways you never thought possible. That's not just progress. That's triumph. That's not just change. That's transformation. That's not just movement. That's momentum. And here's the exciting part. You're just getting started. If you've come this far, imagine how much further you can go. If you've grown this much, imagine how much more you can evolve. If you've achieved this much, imagine what else you can accomplish. The future is bright and it's yours for the taking. You've got the tools, the mindset, the resilience to create the life you want. You've got the power to shape your destiny, to write your own success story. So what's holding you back? What's stopping you from taking that next step, from reaching for that next level? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it uns? Let me tell you something. Those feelings are normal. Everyone feels them. The difference between those who succeed and those who don't isn't the absence of fear or doubt. It's the willingness to push through those feelings to take action despite them. And you've already proven that you can do that. You've already shown that you have the courage to face your fears, to overcome your doubts, to push through uncertainty. You've been doing it all along, even if you didn't realize it. So now it's time to do it consciously. It's time to step into your power to embrace your potential to claim the success that's waiting for you. Because here's the truth. You're not just capable of success. You're destined for it. It's not a question of 
if you'll succeed, but when and how big. You've got the resilience to weather any storm. You've got the support to lift you up when you need it. You've got the wisdom gained from your experiences. You've got the drive to keep pushing forward. You've got the growth mindset to continuously improve. You've got the impact to make a difference in the world. And you've got the hunger for knowledge and improvement that will keep you evolving. These aren't just nice qualities to have. They're the essential ingredients for success. They're the traits that set high achievers apart from the rest. And you've got them all. So I want you to start seeing yourself the way I see you. The way those who care about you see you. As someone who's already successful. As someone who's already making a difference. As someone who's already on the path to greatness. Because that's the truth. You're not a work in progress. You're a success story in the making. You're not trying to become successful. You're already successful and becoming even more so every day. Every challenge you overcome, every lesson you learn, every goal you achieve, every person you help, these are all chapters in your success story. And the best chapters are yet to be written. So what's the next chapter going to be? What's the next mountain you're going to climb? What's the next goal you're going to crush? What's the next way you're going to make the world a better place? Whatever it is, know this, you've got what it takes to make it happen. You've got the strength, the skills, the mindset, the support to achieve anything you set your mind to. You're doing better than you think. You're achieving more than you realize. You're capable of more than you know. So step into your power. Embrace your potential. Claim your success because it's already yours. You've earned it. You deserve it. And the best is yet to come. Remember, success is not about reaching a final destination. It's about the person you become along the way. And you, you're becoming someone extraordinary, someone resilient, someone wise, someone impactful, someone unstoppable. You're not just surviving life's challenges. You're thriving because of them. You're not just going through the motions. You're growing through your experiences. You're not just existing, you're excelling.